A 25-year-old female patient with past medical history of mild eczema and seasonal allergies was scheduled for cochlear implant surgery. She had two previous surgeries without incident during childhood. She denied any history of drug allergies. She also denies smoking, but states that her boyfriend smokes on occasion. Chest auscultation was normal before anesthesia. She was premedicated with hydroxyzine, 100 milligrams by mouth, the day before and one hour before anesthesia. The patient was induced with sufentanil, 20 micrograms IV, and propofol, 200 milligrams IV. Muscle relaxation was facilitated with 100 milligrams of succinylcholine IV. Direct laryngoscopy revealed a Cormac and Lehane grade 1 view, and tracheal intubation was performed. After tracheal intubation was performed, chest auscultation revealed a complete absence of bilateral breath sounds. Initial concentrations of n tidal carbon dioxide were low. Because an esophageal intubation was suspected, the patient was immediately extubated and mask ventilation attempted. Mask ventilation was difficult to perform because of dramatically decreased lung compliance. n tidal carbon dioxide demonstrated a marked prolonged expiratory upstroke on the captangram. Rapid arterial oxygen desaturation measured by pulse oximetry followed by arterial hypotension with a moderate tachycardia occurred in less than five minutes after the intubation attempt. It was at this point that a bronchospasm was suspected. Epinephrine, along with 6 to 12 puffs of albuterol, was given. Crystalloid fluid therapy corrected the cardiovascular disturbance. Ventilation became easier to perform after administration of epinephrine, along with the return of audible wheezing over both lung fields. As arterial blood pressure was restored, a localized erythema occurred to the face and upper thorax. Hydrocortisone 200 mg IV was administered. A blood sample was obtained to measure serum tryptase concentrations 40 and 90 minutes after the clinical reaction. Surgery was postponed and the patient was transferred to the intensive care unit.
No additional support of vasopressor therapy was required. Respiratory symptoms resolved within two hours after inhaled albuterol and IV solumedrol. Subsequent clinical outcome was uneventful. Oh, as long as I know how to love